piece of music I remember acquiring was actually uh, shoplifting the Who Summertime Blues 7-inch from a 5 and dime called G.C. Murphy's here on, it's like a Ben Franklin's or something. Um, you, I think there's been, there used to be Ben Franklin's in Connecticut. But anyway, it was, a ben, it was a 5 and dime here in Washington, and they had a record bin. They were a quarter each or something. I was probably 9 or 10 years old, and I was kind of obsessed with this song, Summertime Blues, and I saw it, but I didn't have any money, so I just stuck it underneath my arm and did a run. I think that having a location, having a place where people can actually congregate and talk about music is super important. It's why I think independent independent uh, stores are just crucially important. Chains are just never going to pull it. Uh, they don't even, most chains don't even know what they have. And the people who work there, it's not, I mean, they're, they're, they're outlets. Think about the word outlet. They're outlets. They're not actually record stores. They're just like you can buy a battery, a TV, or you can buy a record or a CD. You know, it's all it's just all out. It's just going. It just it's like there's it's an outlet. Whereas with record stores, like you know, the the idea is that you have people who have a passion or um, a passion and knowledge about music and are interested in engaging upon it in sort of you know, I guess in a bit of a nerd fashion, but also. Uh, Engaging uh, sort of intellectually about the structure, like, you know, talking about it with some authority. Um, because if you get in, interested in music on that level, it's, it's, you know, there's a rich trove of things to discover. Hey!